below a certain amount, I'm going to give you money as well. All right? And that had pure political motivations, which was to take the 40% and increase the amount of people who you have over there. In the United States, the top 1% of wage earners in the United States pays 39% of the, of the take for the Internal Revenue Service. The top 5% gives 60% of the, of the take, and the bottom 50% of wage earners provide 3% of the IRS. I don't know what the distribution is over here in Macedonia, but it's probably not that different. Right. Which comes to the point, when you are in public management, what is it that you want to incentivize as well? Because I think one of the true features of any political economic system is you get what you incentivize. So if you want to incentivize the accumulation of wealth in the society, do you tax people to make money? Or do you alleviate that? Now, politically, it's very hard to come out with a statement to say, if you want to get rid of poverty, you should disincentivize poverty by taxing the poor. Because if you tax the poor, then they'll want to get rich. All right? You can't say that, because everybody would laugh at you. But essentially, nobody laughs at you when you say you want to incentivize wealth by making it cheaper for rich people to get money, you couldn't say that either. But if you say you're going to tax the rich at the expense of everybody else, everybody says that's fair. But what you are doing is you are disincentivizing growth. And this is the dilemma that we face not only in Central Europe, but also in the United States right now. And as a result of the economic crisis that we are facing now as well, we are put more and more into the conflict about how do you get out of an economic situation like this. Um, interestingly enough, from my first slide, which is the amount that the United States pays for diplomacy, the amount is incredibly small. Isn't it? Everybody talks about how diplomacy should be, um, should be the cornerstone of uh, what we pay is $23 billion, which in comparison with everything else is really quite small. Um, let me move on over here. Talk a little bit about globalization. There you go. 